turn capybara sang into these adorable baked donuts. So let's get started. Okay, so first I'm gonna add the flour, the baking powder, and some salt into a small bowl and whisk that together. And then in a large bowl, I'm gonna combine some melted butter, some sugar, some honey, an egg, and some vanilla extract. And now I'm gonna add the buttermilk. So if you don't have buttermilk, you don't have to go out and buy it. Just get some regular milk and add like a dash of vinegar and let it sit for a couple minutes and that turns into homemade buttermilk. Then I'm gonna add the dry ingredients to that mixture and mix until it's just combined. So I have my favorite donut pan here and I'm just gonna spray it down with some cooking spray so that these donuts do not stick. And then I'm gonna add the batter. So I like to put it into a piping bag because it makes it, it's easy and it's so satisfying to just pipe in the batter. Look at it, it's so clean and it's so fun to watch. And then I'm gonna pop it in the oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for seven minutes. It's just seven minutes, they're so quick. Now these are right out of the oven. I'm gonna flip them out onto their little drying rack. And while they are still warm, I'm gonna get a sharp knife and cut two little holes on the top. And this is where Capybara San's little ears are going to go. And for the ears, I'm using almonds. You could also use cashews. And honestly, I think cashews would work a lot better because these kind of look a little bit more like cats than capybaras. And doing this while the donuts are still warm is the best way to do it because the donut is like its maximum level of soft and malleable and the nuts will fit in nicely and not like crack the donut. Now to make the glaze, I'm gonna place some powdered sugar into a bowl and pour some cream on top and then just give that a whisk. So I wanna make different colors of Mr. Capybara. So I'm just gonna dip a couple directly into this glaze while it's white. So I'm gonna set just like a smidgen of glaze aside and I'm gonna dye the rest of the glaze brown because that is the classic capybara color. Now for that little mini bit of glaze, I'm gonna add some pink food coloring just a smidgen because I want to make some of them blush. I think that that would be so cute to the rest of the glaze, we're just gonna dye it black because like we need to create their little faces. And now we're gonna go into the faces. So some of them I'm having their eyes closed, some of them are open. They're all smiling because they're so cute. And of course, their signature little clementine. Now it's time to taste, I am so excited. The most tender donuts you will ever eat. They're so good. If you like Hello Kitty, I made some steamed pork buns. So I'll link them here. And do you know who also likes donuts? Paddington!